What is up guys, this is Big Sprawler, and welcome back to, I don't know what this series is. You know what, this isn't even a series, I'm just doing Mista gameplay. So yeah, I'm going to be playing as Mista in this playthrough, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going through all the awakenings that she has. Uh, I barely use her awakening one. I'm not really a big fan of her awakening one forms, but it's all up to preference. Personally, I think these should have been in Power Level Warrior 2, however they weren't, so it's whatever. Can you come back over here, Intrigue? That's what her name is in my manga. And if you guys didn't know this, but when it comes to Bullet, Bullet actually in the Everything Power Level Warrior group, he actually said that Mirror was created from Mista. However, in my manga, it's a little bit different. Mista actually creates all the royal guardianesses, however, in my manga, Intrigue is created from all those royal guardianesses, and she's brought into one. Now, the normal royal guardianesses can only go up to Awakening 2 in terms of their power. However, Intrigue can go into Black Sage form. And she gets this Black Sage form because of her aura being reversed from Mirror, if that makes sense. Because Mirror taught Mista some of what she knows, or some of what he knows. And because of that, she was able to create a separate entity of that when she created Intrigue. That's why Intrigue can use Black Sage form. That's a little bit of my story for Intrigue. And yeah, there you go. But anyway, we are going to continue on. If you guys are wondering why I haven't been uploading too much lately, it's because, again, I have those classes for that new job. Actually, I don't think I ever addressed it, but there you go. I have these classes for this new job that I have, and um, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but I am prioritizing that because I need to make a living. That doesn't mean I don't care about you guys. It doesn't mean I don't care about YouTube or anything like that. It just means that uh on one hand i'm benefiting both myself and others maybe not necessarily you guys but other people in general and on the other one i am in a way just benefiting you guys because i don't make money off of this nor do i intend to yes i monetize my videos but even still that doesn't really help that much i get like a couple pennies at a time and youtube hasn't even paid me in a while so yeah there you go i don't know if i lost my ability to get paid or something like that but that just happened. And anyway, yeah. I really like Mrs. Arcane Form. Uh, I originally wanted it to be called Mage Form, but Bullet decided to make Mage Form something else. I'm entirely okay with that. Because I think Arcane Form is more of a big word. And that fits with Mrs. character and that form in general. I really like it. I really like Arcane Form. It's beautiful. It's purple, it's it's actually one of my favorite forms. It's one of my awake, favorite Awakening 3 forms. It actually at one point was my favorite, but I think I have to switch it back to Calm Mode. Calm Mode is my favorite Awakening 3 form. Not just because it's rice, but because the aura is very large and it just looks really, really fantastic. I love the way Bullet did Calm Mode in both Power Level Warrior 2 and 1. Now, in terms of the final Power Level Warrior, like, uh, introducing forms, I do have to say that Arcane Form does probably take the cake, because Calm Mode was introduced in 2. But overall, Calm Mode, I think, is the best Awakening 3. The best Awakening 4 I have to give to uh, Rosado, not just because I designed it, but because I just think it fits very well with Rosado's character and the fact that he's in all the games, and the point of the games, or one of the main collectibles is crystals, and that is what the aura is about, is it's about those crystals, which is really amazing. And that's why I decided to do that. I made that. I decided to make Angelic Spirit one of my own personal creations. 
as well as Balanced Sage form. That's something that I really wanted for Rice. And I was so happy when I was able to do that and design that. And it was really awesome. And then, as well, Rosado's Ultimate Sage form. The When I was thinking about what I wanted to make it, I was just thinking of the whole objective of the game. I was like, it has to do with the objective. And one of the objectives is collecting crystals and I thought that that would fit perfectly with the form so Bullet wasn't able to make the aura have crystals like I intended however the fact that it was red signifying the same color as the crystal is pretty damn close and I really like that speaking of forms though and awakening fours I do have to say that Mista's awakening four the one I'm using right now is kind of creepy, and I like that. Because that fits with her being a witch, being sort of a creepy little evil character. I know that in my manga she's not evil, but in the game she's supposed to be. Well, in the manga she is, spoiler alert, evil at first, then she turns good. And on here she's just flat out evil, so there you go. In a way, Mista is still evil even after she turns good. I mean, she's still rude. She has her same attitude that she does when she's evil. The only difference is that her intentions are different. Like, she doesn't have a heart of evil. Like, she doesn't want to kill people. She doesn't want to freaking take her revenge on the royal family. She just wants to live with Mirror. And I just got something I'm going to be using after this video is done recording or I got a notification for that anyway though I really enjoy how I've been talking a lot in this video this is another thing is I prefer quantity over quality when it comes to my videos which is what another reason why I haven't been uploading a lot because sometimes I'll think about uploading video but I'll be like now I need to crack down and take a break because I remember there was a period where I uploaded like so many videos and it got really repetitive. And I know that some people like when I post videos a lot. But I know that there's others who don't. They don't like seeing all my videos in their feed. Like 10 videos a day and I know it can get annoying. And wow they're freaking. You know they're like going ham on me. There's like 50 million characters attacking at once. I hate it when that happens. When I have a character with a slower thing and then they immediately set their secondary attack and then I get, it turns into a clash. It's annoying. But you know what? I really love this game. I really love how it plays. It plays really well. I just took a trip down memory, memory lane this morning with burst to power and all that. And seeing that eventually turn into this is just amazing. This game does have the mechanics of Burst of Power, by the way, in case you guys were wondering. And in case you guys were wondering what Burst of Power is, uh, just look up Burst of Power and there should be a video about it. It's a game that Bullet was going to make before this, but it got cancelled because he could not figure out. There's some things he couldn't figure out. As well as something else that I don't want to get into detail about, but it's it's all good now i mean that doesn't mean that i don't want to say that what happened was good but in terms of like how things are now it's all good so anyway i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one whenever that may be hopefully not another freaking week or two and see you guys later